everybody welcome back to the channel here's a little run through on what you need for your Arkan Zulus uh, the apps as you can see we've got the Arkan Optics and Arkan Ballistics if I go into the Arkan Optics one this is what you need to update the firmware so you need to turn your Wi-Fi on on the Zulus search for it on your phone and you can see mine there just tap it wait until you get the green tick blue tick uh, then go back to the app and tap connect device and it shows you what you've got there now at the bottom of the screen there's three different toggles that you can hit now this is where we've entered the device and you can actually watch what you're aiming at on your phone uh, if you then click on the files, this is where you can download from the Zulus onto your phone and share them on social media. And then info, this is where you'll find the firmware updates. As you can see, mine is on the latest version already. So there's no need to do an update. Uh, you've got frequently asked questions. Uh, just tap on any one of those and you'll get what you need uh, the version of the app itself so all useful little things uh, contact us you've got the USA and the global there so if you do need to make contact with Arkan it's another way to do it now if we go into the Arkan Ballistics so tap on that, you'll see the first screen. And along the top, you can see where it says 6.1 degrees C. If you just tap on that, it gives you all three options. So when you zero your rifle, have a look at what temperature it is, the humidity and the air pressure. Once you've got those and put them in, what you then need to do, take your zero distance, and put it in there where you can see the cursor moving now. I'm at 30 yards. Then the box above that, if you tap on that, you then go into all the different settings. So you can see here, you've got your zero distance that you're putting again, your scope height, if you type in what that is, so if you've watched my previous video, it's from the center of your scope to the center of your barrel. And then the ones below that I've not touched uh, until you get down to the uh, cartridge. So I've put in the 2-2 Hades, which is what I'm using, and just save that parameter. And then underneath, you've got the bullet length, so that's from the skirt to the head. Pop in the caliber with 5.5, which is the 2.2. The bullet weight, the grain, you can get all this information off the tin of pellets. The ballistic coefficient for Hades is 0 0.023. You can Google it for whatever pellet you're using and get that. And the muzzle velocity, is in, I've got it in feet per second, and I use the uh, FX to actually take that. So once you've put all that in, you then click on the ballistics table, and it brings this up. And you can see at the top, it says 584. Then you've just gone back to confirm that it is 584. Tapped on the button ballistics table again, the blue one in the middle at the bottom there. And it's showing you the distance out and how your muzzle velocity changes. But then the little aeroplane in the top right, if you tap on that, when you've turned your Bluetooth on, it sends this table to the Zulus. And then in the menu, if you go into ballistic calculations, which I can't video, but if you go into that and then choose ballistic table call, select that and save the parameters, then what you'll get is if you use the 
rangefinder with ballistics, you'll get uh, the, if you press the rangefinder once, you'll get the range at the top of the screen. This will be 25 yards. Press it again, you get the red cross as to where you should aim. And then press it again, long press, it turns it off. So the last couple of things to show you is at the top of the screen there, ballistic calculation, to the left of that, press the little man and you get this screen. This is where you can go in and update the Bluetooth software. Again, mine's already the latest version, so I don't need to. If you click on the app version, it tells you if there's an update there. Uh, move along. If you look at the Bluetooth symbol, you can click on that and it tells you that your device is actually connected. And then the next one, the four little squares, if you tap on that, I've only used one in here. And that's this one, the units of measure. So you can change yards to meters, uh, feet per seconds, uh, scope height, inch and millimeters. Choose whatever you're comfortable with. Pop it in there. Uh, or you can just go at the bottom and it metric units or imperial units. Entirely your choice, whatever suits you. And then you've got the unit converter, I've never touched this, I've never been into it, and mine is working perfectly. You've got the moving target where, I, to be honest, I don't even know what this does. I've not played with it at all. So I really do hope that you found this uh, little video useful, guys. If you are interested in buying one, please follow the links that I've put in the video. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.